What's going on guys, my name is Josh and in today's video we're going to be learning how to use speed ramping as a transition to make your cut smoother and make your videos flow better. So I use this technique in my most recent client video. If you haven't already seen that, there'll be a link in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can go click that and see exactly what I'm talking about. But basically this is just a more interesting way of cutting between your clips and it's going to create a very subtle flow within your videos that the viewer might not notice at first but it's definitely going to make it more enjoyable for them to watch. We'll be working in Premiere Pro today so if you have Premiere Pro we are good to go. Let's not waste any more time, let's jump straight into the computer and learn how to speed ramp. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by showing you the effect on its own and then we're going to bring some music into the project and I'm going to show you how you can use the effect whilst also syncing your clips to a song. So to start with I should mention that obviously we're going to be using slow motion so you want your clips to be at least 60 frames a second if not higher uh, 120, 180, 240 whatever you're using um, sometimes it could work with 30 but it's best to keep it 60 frames and higher because we're using slow motion so I've already got my clips down here in the project window all you have to do is double click on that and then go and find your clips but I've already got them so we're going to start off by clicking and dragging our first clip over into the timeline and this is going to make a sequence so we go there's our first clip we're going to click and drag the second one and bring it over try and keep this as quick as possible guys because the last tutorial went on for a little bit long I know it can get boring so first thing we're going to do is remove the audio from our clips and to do this all we have to do is click on the audio right click click unlink and then simply click on it and delete so we're going to do that for both clips and we're going to start off by trimming down our first clip so I want it to start around here I reckon so I'm going to click and drag and that's going to trim it down and then we'll trim off the end to about here I reckon that should be good and then we'll do the next one around there I think is where I want it cool and then we'll end on the second head bang around there somewhere Okay, so I'm going to drag this layer up a little bit so we can see what we're doing better. Press plus on my keyboard to zoom in a little bit. And there we go, we've got both our clips trimmed down, ready to speed ramp. So obviously, if I press play on this, that's simply a normal cut like that. A little bit boring. So to start with, we're going to select our first clip. We're going to right click on this tiny little FX box here. We're going to go down to time remapping and click speed. Now what this has done, if we click on our clip and go to effect controls you'll see it's enabled time remapping and uh, so basically that means we can slow the clip down or speed it up um, all we want. So we're going to start by going to the point around here where we want to start slowing down the clip. We're going to click this keyframe button up here to make a keyframe. You can also do this by pressing P on your keyboard and you get the pen tool and then you can just click along this line all you want to make keyframes but I prefer using the keyframe button so basically now what we've done now is split the clip into two sections so this second line here um, will affect anything after that keyframe and this first line will affect anything before the keyframe so before the keyframe we're going to click and drag the line up to around 200% to speed it up and then the second half we're going to click and drag the line down to about 40% now already you'll see what this has done. So it starts off fast and then it slows instantly down. Cool. So we're going to do the same thing for the end. So I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And we're going to end it about here. Click, keyframe, and then drag the second line back up to 200%. There we go we've made our first speed ramp of the video. See? Simple as that guys. Right, so we're going to do the same again for the second clip. We're going to bring this back, right click the effects box, time remapping speed, and then we're going to go to about there. We're going to make a keyframe, bring this first part up to 200%, 
and the second part down to 40. There we go. And then around here, make another keyframe and bring that back up to 200%. I'm just going to bring this out a little bit, bring this in a little bit and then drag that back like so. So if we play that now, there we go guys, simple as that, that is a speed ramping transition as you can see between the cuts of the clips it speeds up and then it slows back down so it kind of makes it flow a little bit better between the cuts and yeah that's it guys, that is pretty much the effect, if that's all you wanted to know then uh, you can end the tutorial here, otherwise keep watching and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, along to music. Okay, so to do it to music, we're obviously going to have to bring in some music. This is the track that I was using in my last client video. We're going to click and drag this layer down so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to find a bit in the song that we want to sync the clips to. That's very loud. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. I think around there is good. So if we go just before that peak, press C on our keyboard and then click there to cut it and then delete the first half. C is simply just going to give us the razor tool, I think it's called. Yeah, the razor tool. Okay, so let's drag that back. Go forward a little bit. We can end it around there somewhere. Again, see on your keyboard, delete that second half, and there we go, we've got some music to work with now. So, first thing we're gonna do is make some markers on the song where we want the cuts to be. If you've deselected your clip, press M on your keyboard to make a marker, there we go. So we're gonna play it through. Somewhere around here. We're going to deselect, press M again, and that makes another marker. And then we're going to make another one here. There we go. Let's click and drag that down. And that is our little bit of music we are going to work with. So let's bring our clips back out. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just go onto these clips, click the stopwatch up here to disable um, time remapping. That's going to put them back to 100% for both of them. And then we are going to bring it over here, trim it down a little bit so they fit with the cuts. And there we go. So we are ready to time remap again. So the way I like to do speed ramping to music is a little bit different to the way I do it without music. I like to start with the whole clip in fast motion first and then slow it down afterwards. And I'll show you why I do this in a second. But first we've got to enable timing mapping again with the stopwatch at the top left here. And then we're going to click and drag this whole line up to 200%. Like so. And then we're going to hold shift and press the right arrow key twice to go 10 frames forward. And this is the frame where I want to start the slow motion, but as you can see, it's not um, in the clip where I want it to start slow motion. So to change that, we're going to press Y on our keyboard to get the slip tool out. And this is going to change where the clip starts and ends by clicking and dragging on the clip. So I'm going to drag it all the way to the left, keep going until about here. And you can make micro adjustments to see on the frame exactly where I want it to start it, is it where I want it to be. And that looks good because his hand's just about to turn on the turntable. So that's how you kind of um, rearrange the clip so it's where you want it to be on that specific frame where you want the uh, speed ramp to happen. So we're going to make a keyframe again. We're going to drag down this second line to 40%. And the reason why I do the speed, uh, the, the fast motion first is because if I wanted to do it now and drag this first bit up to speed it up, as you can see, 
it's pulled our keyframe back a few frames. And I don't want it to be that, I want it to be 10 frames in exactly so I can keep all of them throughout the edit um, the same basically. So that's why I do it first. Uh, simple as that really, we're going to go and do the same thing on the end. Shift left arrow twice, we're going to make a keyframe and we're going to drag this second line back up to 200%. Come on, there we go. So it's shortened it a little bit because it's obviously sped it up, so we need to drag it back out. And there we go, we've done our first speed ramp to the music. So it's time to do the second clip now. Same again, I'm not gonna uh, waste much time on this one. Enable it with the stopwatch up here. Drag the whole clip up to 200%. Go 10 frames forward, use the slip tool to find the spot where I want it to start it was around here somewhere that'll do that'll do for now we'll press a keyframe drag this down to 40 and then we'll go 10 frames in from the end make another keyframe drag this up to 200 and then we're just going to trim this down a little bit. And there we go, guys. If I play that out for you. It's not the exact timing I wanted. I kind of wanted the slow motion to start a little bit later when he's headbanging. But you get the idea, guys. Um, it's basically making the cut a little bit smoother in between whilst well, it's doing the same thing we did before but just with music this time so as you can hear it's on the cut but there we go that is pretty much it guys uh, the only last thing I guess I could show you is something that you can do to smooth out the uh, transition between fast and slow. I tend not to do this when I'm editing to music because it does kind of move your keyframes around but what you got to do is you got to click on your keyframe, drag it out like this and as you can see it will make a ramp. That's why we call it speed ramping. It's going to drag this layer up a little bit and then you'll get this little handle which you can click and drag to make a nice little S curve. Now what that's going to do is it's just going to make a much smoother transition from the fast to the slow as you can see this one's more sudden and this one's more smooth it's very subtle but it's kind of a good way of making your speed ramping flow a little bit better but as I said before as you can see it does mess around with the placement of your keyframes and because I want to keep them at 10 frames usually on every clip I tend not to do this when I'm editing to music but Definitely do this if you're not editing to music because it just adds that nice little bit of extra professionalness to your speed ramping. But anyway guys, that is pretty much everything I want to go over in this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you found it helpful, please show your support by smashing the like button for me. Let me know down in the comments section below if you've got stuck at any point and I'll try my best to help you out. And also let me know if you have any suggestions for future tutorials you'd like to see me do. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.